it's time for a 3D printing experiment. This is a uh, 1990 Toyota Supra in 132nd scale, made by MicroAce, formerly Ari. In fact, my version is the Ari version. It's one of the, uh, the older ones. And behind it, is a body kit designed for the Tamiya 124th scale Toyota Super, scaled down, printed at 75%, so that it, with a, if I'm lucky, it will fit the 32nd scale Supra. The design is by Black Box STL. I'll, obviously, I'll be sticking a link down below. So far, there's been very little issue with the prints. One of the wing struts didn't print in the first go through. So I've printed, I couldn't remember which side it was, so I've printed both again. And I've just spotted one of the wheels, if you take a look, is missing the nut and centre hub detail. So I'm going to have to do another one of those. But apart from that, everything seems to have worked really well. I've printed out the side skirt twice because I did them on the same plate but I put them at different orientations to see if it made a difference to the print quality or any other issues and they all come out fine and the only other issue I've noticed now I've sat down to get it all off the truet sprue is just a little if you can see just on the top of the wheel arch there just a little bubble of stray resin that's stayed on it after it's come out of the the vat or whatever and been dried onto it but that's just an issue of very very carefully sanding it afterwards so now it's time to get all of that off its supports and get started on fitting it to the car there have been a couple of breakages as i uh it apart so I'm, there's going to be some stuff that needs printing again probably i was already going to have to reprint the wheels but the actual wall of the wheel is now it's been shrunk down to 30 second it's ridiculously uh, thin and it broke on just about every wheel has suffered a little bit of shredding i think that's one that's come off the best so i was already gonna have to do this wheel again so i may have to have another go at the wheels and what else broke one of these broke but i printed uh, two of them anyway some of these items are still a bit sticky so i'm gonna stick them under the um into the curer again for a little while and uh just hopefully set that final last little bit and the other thing that lost the most was the uh, rear splitter which has suffered but mostly at the front so the actual bit that you see mightn't be so bad anyway i'm going to stick these back under the um the curer because to leave them out in the sunshine to try to sort that out uh, it's February in Manchester. I would be back in a month. Okay, I've mocked it up now. Held together with uh, masking tape. That's rear panels and side panels and the rear splitter. It's very cleverly set up the design has little notches and and pins for it to go together but as i've shrunk it they're not as uh, they're not all working perfectly the ones joining these two bits of the side skirts i've had to scrape them off and i'm just going to have to do the best i can of gluing it together in as it's meant to go together wheels have been redone this time with much thicker sidewalls. By much thicker, I mean 
Ooh, almost a millimeter as compared to what they were before, which is fraction of a millimeter, maybe half a mil at most, and obviously too thin. Go in the wheels quite nicely. Still a little bit of cleaning up to be done. They're still a little sticky, to be honest. I'm gonna probably be hitting them all with a bit more isopropyl to give them a bit more of a clean. And the brakes go inside them. And they have this little, neat little offset to lower the car. But again, that's made for a specific kit. So I don't know how that's going to work on here until I build the chassis and start putting things together. Got the front splitter fitted. And I'm... Uh, putting together the side skirts, which will go on next. But before I put any, do any more body work, I'm gonna fill these holes because I'm gonna have a completely different spoiler to the one that came in the kit. So just gonna stick a little bit of a plastic rod in there. Well, is it rod when it's square, when it's rectangular? Anyway, I'm gonna put, put a little bit of this in here, then a bit of filler, clean that up. Before I commit to gluing everything on, I'm going to work out which bits of the original body to cut off to give clearance for the much larger wheels. And the recommendation is to use the arches as a guide. And Mark it with this. And the same on the other side. The other side is sitting a little higher. There we go. Seems about right. There we go. So, there we are. Now, to work out the best way to remove these, I'm tempted to go straight to the snips. Very nervous cutting up, up the body, but This is all going to be covered over by the body kit. So I think I'm okay. Uh -oh. And that is why I was nervous about it. I managed to split the body. So let's right. So that's that roughly done. I'm gonna do a general shave with the blade and then go in with a file. Okay, time to be brave. I can glue the first of the side skirts on.
go. There should be a little line between them, I, th I think. And then a little bit more work at this end. Line that up. Hold it in place with this. Do the same on the other side. And then use the rear splitter just to double check when I glue them. Let's very, very carefully hit this with some super glue. Let's glue this joint first. Both sides. Then slide some under here. And then very quickly remove the rear splitter because I can't have that glued on yet. Or I'll not be able to put the chassis under it. That's phase one of this build finished. There have been a couple of issues, but primarily they're down to me trying to use this 3D model for a completely different scale and a manufacturer that it wasn't originally intended for and not putting supports in the right places. But it looks good. There are some issues that need cleaning up and then I'm going to hit it with primer and then next episode I think I'll be moving on to the interior.